So, today, ladies and gentlemen, scariest short horror films on the internet. The fifth installment to the series that we got going on the channel. We got five picked out today. We're going to start off with Sloven. It is by Glass Cabin Films. It says award-winning short horror. It says, Steve comes home to find his untidy roommate has left the apartment particularly messy. Or has someone unearthly created this disorder? I guess we gonna find out, aren't we? Let me turn off the lights. Should I turn should I turn the lights completely off for the short horror films for the culture? Does it just look atrocious when I turn these off? <clears throat> you can barely see me. Yeah, like this? Bro, you can barely see me! Hold on, let me see what happens when I turn my desk light on. I kinda fuck with that. I kinda fuck with that. You like that? It's just my desk light. It's like my underglow. Alright, Sloven. Let me know how the volume is, chat. So he's just headed home. Particularly messy. Let's see what that means. Hello? Steve? No, bitch. Is that a doll? Hey, sorry. Brian just. Oh, hell no. Again. Looks like he decided to have a pregame party. God, he sucks. He sure does know how to pick out a creepy Halloween costume, though. What are you dressing up as? Well, I don't know. Sexy something or other. I need to get ready. We have an hour. Well, when you get dressed, how about send me a picture? Or before you get dressed. TOS! <laughs> You're so stupid. Hurry up, you made it through last year. Alright. Fine. Bye. You just send me a picture. <laughs> Messy ass roommate. That's unparticularly messy. That's wild! The McCafe. The pizza. Bro's definitely bulking. Hey, he getting in the calories. Oh, pregame! Pregame! Oh, nah, homie. Two shots of vodka? Yeah, that shit was water, chat. Jesus Christ. Damn! Homie didn't get in all the calories. They're still on the fucking table. <laughs> Messy ass. He said, fuck it. Well. Oh, no, he getting to work. A. W roommate. At least he's looking out. Oh. Shit. Shit, he's late. Oh, he f he getting fresh. Right. Bitch, are you serious? After I just cleaned up? You gotta be kidding me. Nah, I'd be so pissed. I'd be livid. Did he finish that shit? Just while he was in the shower. Nah. Brian, leave a message. Hey, Brian. Uh. I don't know what's going on right now. I get that it's Halloween, and it's totally cool when you have your friends over, but this is insane. All right, I just cleaned up all your shit, and then you, you come in again, and you make a mess, you drink all my vodka, and you peace out. Not cool. Mmm, chat. 
What are you looking at? Bro talking to a doll. Let's let's not go crazy here, big fella. I'm I mean, okay. Is, is that Elvis? Is that supposed to be Elvis? <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Not the Zod, chat! Oh, he's moving out. Oh, he's moving out. Yo, Steve where are you? Dude, what the hell? What? You smoked my stash. Smoked my weed and you drank all my vodka. Dude, I didn't touch your stuff. I haven't even been home. Yeah, like I wouldn't have noticed that shit storm you left in the kitchen twice. Steve, I've been with Melissa all day. Uh, but I have a bottle of gin in the freezer. The ghost smoked the za? You just brought in a keg. Steve, get in the car. Get over here, man. There's no. Oh, I'm squaring here. up with. I'm squaring up with any demon in sight. Dude, you are so wasted. You know you went to a Halloween party without your Halloween costume, right? <laughs> you know, the mask was really cheap. It wasn't scary at all. Huh? What mask? I've got my costume. Melissa's a sexy prison guard, and I'm her prisoner of love. You get it? She's a prison guard. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a ghost, my boy. Yep. That ghost must be high as hell. Chat. <laughs> that motherfucker looked like he <laughs> looked like he worked at Party City, Zerkers, but worked at Spirit Halloween. No way. All right, what we giving that chat? What we giving that out of ten? Y'all give it a three? I would give that a four. I would give that a four. An honest four out of ten. How about that, chat? The next one, motherfuckers, is called The Whistle. It's a horror short film by Bapel Entertainment. A young man who finishes his working day leaves his job at night in order to get back home. Walking by the lonely and snow-covered streets, his calm and tranquility ends when he hears a whistle in the distance. All right, The Whistle. For the best experience, use headphones. Oh yeah. Let me know if it's too loud. Oh, hell no. Homie getting the steps in. The fuck following him? Isn't that what skinwalkers do, chat? Bitch, is that the Hunger Games whistle? It's Katniss. <laughs> Nah. I turned into an Olymp an Olympic runner at that point, bro. <laughs> Damn. Don't slip, homie. Don't slip. Don't stop. Trying to like get in there to hide, or is that his crib? Bro, fumbled.
Oh, hell no. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, hey, them trustworthy golfs, chat. That's why I got the golf R, baby. Careful, careful. He was running away like he knew what that was, though. Because, like, if I saw someone in the shadows, I'd be like, hey, what's good? Why are you whistling at me? It's probably a skinwalker. <sighs> Bitch! It's in the crib? Homie got the house key. It's his ex. <laughs> Oh, 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 homie, you gotta turn the key, homie. Yeah, this is baby mama. Homie is so fucked. Bro didn't pay up. She just came to collect. <laughs> the fuck was that thing? They do, they got two more. All right, we ain't watching them in a day, but we might we might come around to them. That was pretty decent, chat. I think that was pretty decent. I like how it was a good horror short film all around, even without dialogue. There was no dialogue. That motherfucker, I just heard whistling the whole time and him panicking. I would give that, without looking at chat, I would give that a seven out of 10. Six, eight, sevens. I see seven, yeah. I'd give it about a seven out of 10. I enjoyed that. That was pretty fucking good, especially with no dialogue. No real, like, I don't even know what this, what this thing is. I don't know if it's Skinwalker or the Rake or what, or a mixture of the two. The next one is The Tour. It's a Scream Fest short horror film. Hey, these Scream Fest ones are usually gas. Make sure you donate to Scream Fest. They donate to, donate to charity, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I want to actually go to these horror like festivals. I wonder if they do Not festivals and shit. Past, shrouded in shadows and bloodshed. It was built in 1782 for millionaire and recluse Margaret de Mort. But even during its construction, the property seemed cursed. An unexplained fire in the West Quarter claimed her son. De Mort was grief stricken and took her own life by hanging herself from the raft. Tom Gordon. The next family lasted less than a year in darkness violently butchered by their gardener, who later claimed in court that the house had made him do it. Since then, Darkmoor has claimed 12 more victims, five within the last year. Was the Only house brainwashing? Only film crew went looking for proof of the supernatural. It never came out. Don't worry, their footage was never found. <laughs> but seriously, there have been continued reports of ghostly apparitions, terrible screams, and strange shadowy figures staring out of the windows on full moon. Yeah, okay, buddy. Yes. This is the most cursed, haunted house in Britain. And that, ladies and gents, concludes the tour. Yeah, he got 20 bucks from each of them. <laughs> Even he don't believe that. I bet he, I bet, he, I bet he doesn't believe it right now, but then he gets shook when it happens to him. Fine. You do it then. Maybe I could help. Oh, sorry, are we holding everyone up? No, we've got a few minutes yet. May I? So yeah, let me show you some pointers. <laughs> he a vet. Ah, 
Horror is. Okay. Camera is there at the scene. <laughs> horror film Riz. Sure. I'll get the house in the background. Yeah, that tour guide Riz, baby. So <laughs> tell me, are they all like you around here? Oh no, there's no one else like me around here. Mm. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago? Mm. Well, welcome to Dartmoor. <laughs> but that's your liking. So, did you enjoy the tour? That depends. Is it all true? Oh yeah, every word. Embellish the dick, but he doesn't like a little drama. Mm, quite. I don't think he believes that, chat. <laughs> That's us. Thanks, uh... Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. Tom, got it. Well, good meeting you, Tom. I didn't get your name. You I... didn't, did you? Mm. You know, maybe if he buys a drink, we'll tell you. My Are pleasure. you for real? Your name? This way. Are you sure about this? Ah. Uh, are you it's just nah, that's okay. I gotta go to the hot. gym. Do it. I... <laughs> just for their so, name, homie? What do you think? I mean... About what? About Tom. What else? He's alright. God. Loosen up a bit, okay? We're here to have fun. I have fun? It's not the kind of fun that you have. I guess he's nice enough. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking he's gonna look a lot nicer in my bed. Hey, maybe he scores, slut? chat. I don't know. Who's a slut? I'm maybe that's slut. just them flirting. Maybe the Yankee slut. Is that a nickname given or earned? Dick. Does she always talk like that? I'll have you know that I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Bullshit. No, you're right. I'm a dirty rotten scoundrel. But you can't blame a man for trying. So, what are you doing in this ghastly part of the world? Holidaying, studying, what? We're touring Europe. Touring Europe? Oh, that's so cute. Seeing the sights, the voyage of self-discovery, getting drugged, kidnapped, sold to the highest bidder. Well, you've seen Hostel, right? No. Oh. Well, you probably should do that next time you go abroad. <laughs> Stay. I've never been to Europe. If you come to Dartmoor, you'd have missed my thrilling tour. I like the tour. A whole tour? I, I was particularly brilliant. I really felt I delivered the drama. You are so full of it. No, but seriously, I enjoy it. I mean, I get good crowds. Dartmoor's got an incredible history. And that's a fun story to tell. Don't you ever feel bad exploiting the town's misfortune? Exploiting? Look. Oh. This town uh -oh. exists because of that house. It's the only reason the entire community survives. Okay. We get it. The house is awesome. Sorry, it's just... Look, you wouldn't be joking if you went into that house. You'd feel how real it is. You'd feel it to your very bones. You've been inside. So does he actually believe it then? Yeah. Been in and lived to tell this house, so to speak. It makes a believer out of you, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, maybe you can make a believer out of me. I can get you in. I mean, if you really wanted. What about your friend? Isn't that trespassing? <sighs> Don't be such a wuss, Morgan. <laughs> he kind of seems like he's baiting oh, them into the house. Your name. And you are? Well, you know, other than the Yankee slut. Other than Yankee slut, I'm also Cassie. What? Cassie. It suits you. Yeah. Well, if we're giving more than just your name tonight, I wager. Oh. <laughs> you think yeah, he's creepy? We'll see about that. You're gonna have to play your cards. Yeah. Right. I'm getting weird vibes from him. Okay. Right. I'm off to the gents. I'll give you ladies a moment to discuss. Huh. It kind of seems like a regular thing for him. Please. I bet please he just hits on people and this up for me, feeds okay? them to the house. He's the first hot guy we've met in over three months here and you're giving me a hard time if you like him so much why do you even want me here <sighs> because we made a promise not to leave each other alone i'm not doing it fine i'll come along but if the whole night ends up with me watching you make out with him i'm gonna be really pissed don't worry mo i'm sure if you offer a threesome he'll be more than thrilled hey what how do i look chat What's the verdict? Are you guys in or out? I'm finna get banned from this video. Yeah, you are. Great. I'll make it a night to die for. What? Too much? Probably. <laughs> we'll see it through.
So like what? They just think they're gonna hang out in the haunted crib? Or are they like purposely trying to ghost hunt? I couldn't understand because they were like acting all like sexual and shit about a haunted house. Now before we go in, I want to warn you that unlike my tour, this house is the real deal. No tricks, no bullshit. It's plain scary. I thought he was a scammer. He actually believed that shit. Yeah. Keep it running. Oh fuck. Nah, they're gonna freak out, bro. <laughs> they're gonna dip. <laughs> they think he's being all smooth, but he's like, this house haunted for real. Jesus, can anyone find the light? I can't see a fucking thing. Shh. There's no power out to the house. Grab a torch. Psst. Torch? What is this, Outlast? What? They even got the camera, bitch. Are you sick? The... Holy fuck. What the hell, Morgan? Rat! Of rat. Get your shit together. This isn't a place to fuck about. Nah, they're just for real ghost hunting right now, bro. What was that? I don't know. Did you want to go and find out? That paranormal Riz. Look, <laughs> he's so hyped, bro. He's so hyped to show them the house. They probably thought they were just gonna like hang out and watch a movie and sh all to this cute shit. He's like, nah, we going ghost hunting, baby. Maybe he just wants friends to ghost hunt with. <laughs> Bro has a phasmophobia kink. What you say? <laughs> it's all fucking outlast. Oh, hell no. Nuh uh. I don't fuck with Annabelle. Mm mm. Whose room was this? Okay, Loud right. noises. Yes. No. Hey, yo, pick up batteries, homie. You're gonna regret it. I love how I love how he's acting like she's tripping out when I thought he believed the house was haunted as hell. He's like, quit fucking freaking out. There's nothing to freak out about. <laughs> she needs <the> almond water. <laughs> yeah, this is the back room, bro. There's no one here. Okay. They finna see some smilers. Wait. What? Tom? Ah! Tom? Tom? Tom! What the fuck? <laughs> what was there, a burglar? No, I bet. Ah! What the fuck? That ain't Tom. No, 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 no. Tom is gone, bruh. Tom is. Damn! Well, this this uh kickback didn't go as planned. Morgan. Oh, he got out. What's Cassie? He fell. I thought she was behind me. 
He's like, fuck, I didn't even like you that much. Shit. Look at him, he's like, fuck, Cassie, bro? Ow! Oh, no. What? You trusting the cunt. The entire reason that's going to be is because of that house. And the song must go on. The ones that are here, dear man. Yo, this, this got so intense. I didn't even think it was bro. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, there was two of them. You enjoy this a bit too much. And you. I say, this fucking one, get away. If you don't think you can do it, find someone who can. You don't need to worry about me. They just like killing people that come to the tour? I think anyone's gonna miss him. Well, yeah. I can see the headlines now. Oh, and they call it a curse. But in reality, it's just them. They're fucking serial killers. Damn. I thought the house was gonna be on some haunted shit. Oh. Fuck. What's <laughs> Hold up, it is haunted. <laughs> Bro's getting karma. Okay. Yeah, bro Brody got karma. At least homie got karma. I like the plot twist at the end. I fucked with that. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. I like that. It would be higher if the if like the beginning portion, like the build up and shit was different. But I fuck with the plot twist and the whole story. That was cool. That was cool. All right. We going to hop straight into the fourth one, baby. Okay? This one is called Playing with the Devil. Award-winning short horror film based on Japanese ritual, Hidori Kakurenbo. I think that's how you say it. So, apparently this is some real shit, so this should be good. Alright. Let's play a game. Based on true accounts from the Japanese ritual. Yeah, true accounts. One, you must play oh. until the end. So this is real. Luigi, did I say Luigi Four. boards? Use salt water for protection. Luigi boards, my bad. <laughs> Step one, cut open the doll. Remove the stuffing and fill the doll with uncooked rice. This sounds like Sam from Step Black two. Ops. Zombies. Clip your fingernails and put them inside the doll. Step three, presenting the blood that binds us together. Sew the doll up with a crimson thread. Step four, place a cup of salt water inside your hiding place. How do these kids find out about this game? They should not know about this. Name the doll. Mary? What's your doll's name? Why can't we use one of your dolls? Do you want to play this game or not? His name is Mr. Bixby. That's fucked up. Place your doll in the water. Wow. Now we wait. Wait for what? For the doll to come alive and What is this five minute crafts? Stop scaring her. Let's begin. Repeat after me, we are the first it. Ready? We are the first it. We are the first it. We are the first it. <laughs> now hide. Hide? We are the first it? One man tag. They're hiding from the doll? 
Man, I'll drop kick a doll. What the fuck? Close your eyes and count to ten. One, One two, two, three, four, five, four. She's cheating. Five, She's not doing it. Six. Count. Seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. I do got beef with dolls, bro. I do not mess with dolls. Now what? I don't know what they're doing. They're playing tag with the doll. I found you, Cersei. I found you. I found you. I found you. No. What are you doing? Mom's gonna kill you. You're it. You're it. That is enough. What? <laughs> was she? <laughs> Why was she beefing with the doll? Is that how someone's it? They have to get shanked? Yo, this game kind of intense. Uh. Lord, stop this. If it finds us, the game is over. What do you mean if it finds us? Give me that flashlight. Bro, this is all that chick's fault. Nah. I would have just went home. Just do it. I'd be like, fuck this game, bro. What? They're still going? How long is this ritual? Kind of what? That was a weird foot shot. Was this Nickelodeon? Yo, what? Oh, well, she gone. Why? Why are they? Do why are they doing this ritual if they know what happens? Bro, what a disaster of a game to play, bro. Wow. She getting jumped in there, bro. Wow. All for what? Pennywise? Oh, nah. I hope she get it the worst, bro. It's all her fault. Give me that uh ball. Uh -oh. so this. The sister's the grudge now, bro. What happened to the other sister? Oh. Yeah, don't fucking, don't fucking. What? They obviously knew the rules. The film is dedicated to Jean, Loretta, Mary, and Rose. Wait, does that? That's actually them? Wait, what happened to them? Did they actually die from that? No shot. That actually happened? What the fuck? The comments are turned off. They just like turned off the com- Damn. So this was like some real shit? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> nah, I'll, t I'll take word on it. I'll take word on it. I would say that was like- That was a good- That was like a good 9 out of 10. That was a really good explanation for what happened, I guess? Actually happened? Yeah, don't mess with rituals, bro. That's crazy. Alright. Last but not least, chat. Fifth, uh, short horror film. This one's called Larry.
It's by Jacob Case. Is this like self-produced, I guess? Yeah, it says written and directed by Ch Jacob Kate or Jacob Chase. My apologies. A man, a parking lot, a friendship. That's all it says. Okay. <clears throat> Damn, rise and grind. Shit. No, you're not too late. Last last one. Oh, he got the graveyard. So he's been a This is Larry. Hello, Larry. Oh, hell no. I don't like Larry. Play outside in the sunlight. <laughs> Others make fun of Larry because he... Different or like a fucking alien? Just wants a friend? What is that, Yoda? <laughs> oh, oh, hell no. That's Larry. <laughs> he just wants a friend. Fuck that, I got no friends, Larry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. What y'all think Larry benches? Behind a window. <laughs> Homie, you better dab him up. You better be, you better be homies with him. Four hundred. I don't think Larry got that in. I think he got like. What the? He in the Michael Jackson pose, bitch. <laughs> he looked like he got 225 in the bag on bench. Bro, why does he have that shit open? So he's gonna get a picture on the iPad that's in the Lost and Found and not his phone. I'm... You better upload that fast, homie. He's not even, he's just zooming in to see. Oh, nah. What the fuck? Yeah, Larry just in a silly mood, bro. He just want to be friends. Oh, nah. Oh, Grizzy's live, bro. Bitch, are you serious? I thought you were Larry! That scared the soul out of me, bro. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Maybe he's just hallucinating, bro. They drive off all ominous and shit. What the fuck? Homie needs some sleep. What? 
the fuck? Bro, no wonder nobody wants to be fucking Larry's friend. Bro, like... Bro looks like Voldemort, and like, Crip walks in front of people and jump scares them, and then he he's confused as to why people don't want to be friends with them. <laughs> Larry's flexible? <laughs> I thought that was pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I would give that a 7 out of 10. Goofy at end? Nah, I... I peeped the special effects, that was clean. Hey, it was made by Jacob Chase and Jacob- and starring someone else. So homie made it by himself, good shit. I'd give that a 7 out of 10. Yeah, bro was hitting the gritty. <laughs> Alright, let me throw these bitches on. Boop boop. Damn, that's bright. Alright, but that was all of the videos. That is a wrap for scary short horror films on the internet, number 5. Hope y'all did enjoy. I like to do these like every couple weeks or so. Make sure you're in the Discord to- Drop some recommendations so we can have some gas short horror films to watch. I, with that being said, baby, that is gonna be a wrap for the video. So if you did enjoy, smash that like button in the ass for me. Until next time, peace out, baby.